back to our channel. Hello you! Oh, you're scurrying away. Away, you are... away, away. Oh, and hello Mila. I saw strawberries, yeah. Hi Mila. <laughs> As you can, you probably can't tell actually. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Hi! We had a bit of a clean up this morning because my parents are actually very excitedly joining us. We are. Today, later this they afternoon. Are. And Mila's now just getting her dog hairs. I know, literally. We said this before, we've got the covers on the sofas because the sofas are like this all over and they're just a really lovely fabric. And so we thought, Cover as much as possible to protect. <laughs> She's like, Mila, wake up, Mila, it's vlog time. But whenever we've just like hoovers and stuff, whenever I pet Mila, I'm like, I know. Because honestly, guys, she molts like there's no tomorrow. And we shake them off and like take them outside and stuff, but it <sighs> just gets so hairy so quickly. Aww. Hello, good morning, Amber. What a cute dress you've got on, baby. Yeah. Thanks, man. Whoa. Forced me to have this bobble in my hair. Nope, she's coughing at the moment. Okay, so one thing at a time. New toys. You're making new toys. We've got some new toys for Amber, and we got them yesterday, and she's been so excited. Like the best feeling in the world is a baby getting new toys. Which one are you going to? This one. What? Over she goes. Literally, her walking in a dress just like just makes me so happy. She's like a little toddling, toddling around in a little flowy dress. Here, we've got one of these. I've wanted to get Amber one of these for ages and like you put a ball in. Have you seen it work, James? Yeah. What, just because you love playing with it so much. Yeah, I know. I was so buzzing to get one. Yeah. Elmo! I've lost all the balls though. Yeah. Oh, there's one. That's always the thing with these toys that like come apart. I know, look, James. James, your mind will be blown. I'm so excited, are we excited, Elmo? Are you ready, James? <laughs> ready, go. Oh my gosh! I think you lost all the water. One of them's waiting at the bottom for you. Oh my gosh, yeah. And no wonder Amber can't find them after they've gone down there. I couldn't even you find it. Find you never go? She puts it on like the bottom when it's so cute. Yay! 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 Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. And the little bubble like Hello. Right, so, so yes. We are going to go off and do a very quick food shop. We are. And Karis wants to look in the H&M, which is attached to the yeah. superstore. I've been meaning guys to look in this H&M for so long, but we keep going on a Sunday when it's closed. Um, I don't know why. We have a H&M in Cardiff. We have many H&Ms that I've been to before, but I just always feel the need to go to a different H&M. Um, so yeah. Even though we know it has the same clothes, I it's know. all H&M. You know the prices in each currency. I know. So you know like they even use the same label. Yeah. It's going to be exactly the same, but I'm going to enjoy it nonetheless. And yeah, we've got James's parents coming, which is really exciting. And we, my friends left yesterday. They were down for like a birthday weekend celebration, which was so nice. Um, and the sun has been shining so much. The weather is looking absolutely stunning at the moment. We've got all the sheets currently drying. It's actually blinding. Like I won't even put the camera over it. Actually, I don't think the camera would pick it up. But like we're drying all our sheets outside because we're changing the beds, uh, the bedding for James's parents. And it's just like literally literally blinding. We're out here trying to lay the sheets out. I mean, it's actually so sunny. I can barely, you guys know I can barely cope with the sun. When we're laying them out, I feel like the reflection off the white sheets is so strong. When I come back inside, I'm literally like seeing in black and white. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. The sun is shining. Yeah. We're it's loving it. life. Ah, my cake. Ah, it tasted amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, I was so happy with how the cake turned out. Whoa, these balls are really bouncy. Oh, James, a sheet again. Oh, Karis. Oh, James. Oh, Karis. Oh, James, listen up, yeah? This morning again, James had a little lion this morning. As I said, we've been doing little, oh, oh, wow, that's cool. Little like lions each every now and then. She did this again to me, James. I don't know if she's done this to you yet, but I look away for like two seconds. She's unpacked all of those. She's never done that. And they're in date order in French. <laughs> If you get me. Put them back in. Yeah. It takes me ages, but to be fair, the French words are quite similar. Like it's like Juliette for July. Oh. July. For July. For July. I'm turning French, guys. And like basically Jeanne. Oh no, 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 no. Because they're they're very precious and they're in date order, okay? So we leave those in there. Oh look at my lovely nails as well, guys. We've got we've gone back to like the nudie pink now, rather than the milky white. I'm feeling it. You feeling, boo? I'm feeling it. I'm vibing it. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm on no, about. What am I looking at? <laughs> I didn't see it, so went, you oh my god, it such a vibe. Are you feeling them, James? Do you like this colour? <laughs> Love it. Ready? <laughs> wow. Good throw. 
James has just come back. He just took Mila over to the little park thing. Um, so I've been wanting to start this scrapbook. I just have to show this to James. This is so funny. So I picked up this scrapbook. I've just like literally just started it earlier and it just says Um, You're getting ready to chuckle. So I bought, what, do you remember what I said when I bought this? No. I was like, oh, it's going to be really cute because it's got a little yeah. French saying on the front and it'll be okay. like a reminder of France. It just says bullet journal in English. So just realise oh that one. Brilliant. <laughs> that definitely says bullet journal. It does, doesn't it? That's so sad. Bullet journal. Bullet journal. I was so, I was literally like, oh my God, a little cute French saying. I was like, I wonder what that says. Went to open it this morning. I was like, Pretty sure that says bullet journal. So that's just me being a classic Karis. I know, to be fair, you didn't notice either, but I don't I think... I don't know how much I looked at it. I don't I think... Sure. Yeah, you weren't paying that much attention. Um, but yeah, I'm basically wanting to do a little bit of a scrapbook. Got my stickers, printed out some pictures yesterday. James is shutting up, ready to go. I know, ready to go, girls. We're ready. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of little bits and bobs of the trip so far. I start on the scrapbook. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark in here. They have like full shutters out, like the whole house basically shuts down. It's great. All right, the nams, let's go. Woo! We are at our big supermarket, the one close to our house. They've got a few like little eateries kind of by the entrance, even though they do have a McDonald's over there, which I personally am very tempted by, but Kyle's giving me a slap on the lips. On the lips? <laughs> She's giving me a what? She's giving me a little uh, slap on the wrist, on the hand. I was like, no. We're not going to McDonald's, so gutting. We are going not to see... Not because it's unhealthy, just because we went there the other day. And I fancied... <laughs> what? Don't give away that we've already been to McDonald's out here, okay? They're so really cute. Like, French food's amazing. They do Look, this amazing kind of, like, sandwichy panini stuff in, like, so many shops. And we're like, yeah, let's get McDonald's. Let's get burger and chips. No, look, we've only done it once. We have, we have to try we McDonald's have. Oh, everywhere we've been. I think, like, one of the favourite ones was in Bali. We went to Bali. Yeah. And they did like amazing like rice boxes and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, it and was so food. cool. And McDonald's, like, I feel like British McDonald's is just the worst. <laughs> Even here, I feel, I was vibing it. And they do the chunky chips. Oh yeah, they of, did like yeah. oh, wedges. So um, tasty. But yeah, no, I refused today. I said, we must get a Francais panini. No, I don't That's know. I, 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 I want to see what this place does. I feel like they do. Oh, okay. Oh, pizzas. Oh. Tempting. So yes, the supermarket is down there, but we are walking towards Look at that little hairdo. She loves looking in shop windows. We are walking this way towards H&M. I'm hoping it's going to be open. I'm pretty sure it is because everything that I've seen so far has been open. Woo, H&M. All of the shops at the moment have this on them. Is it Prim? Prim Prim. Is that a good French accent, guys? Prim Prim. Um, I think it means sale or something, but I'm going to need to look that one up. But yay, it's open. Woohoo. Let's have a look. Summer vibes. Oh my god, I love a linen blazer, guys. You already know. And a pop of colour. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you now. I'm just gonna have a browse. Okay, so I've just made it upstairs, and I think there's a kids section, which I'm so excited about. But I've been getting some bits that make me smile. I did a little TikTok of buying things from H&M that made me smile. Um, and people seem to really enjoy it, so I thought I'd do another one, because I really enjoyed it as well. It made me pick things that actually made me smile, rather than like just, you know what I'm like, guys, I buy the same things over and over. It makes me go for like funky colors, and like obviously I've got some basics there, which won't be in it, but yeah, it just makes me try new things. And I loved some of the stuff I got last time I did that, so hi, should we look for some stuff for you? That's a pokey old tongue. Can you do that? Mm. Mm. Wow, that's so good. She's been waving at everyone. Do you wave in? There's no one here to wave to. Good try though. Well, you didn't try, you succeeded. There was just no one to wave to. Oh wow, these look like some very funky things. This was the pattern of the dress that I got in the last one that I did. So I did this, like buying things that made me smile and there was this like bodycon dress in this fabric and oh my, well this pattern. And oh my god, I loved it so much, but I felt so wacky. Maybe I should get this one, guys. And I wore it as well. They posted it on Instagram. I felt so bougie. That's a bit too hot. I think that's a bit knitted, but honestly, some of the stuff is so wacky, and I just feel so like I always just I think it's such a classic. You get in your head like I'm too old for that. I'm too old when you're not. I mean, this is actually the divided is that what it's called section in H&M, which is actually I think their like teen section. Oh my god, this is the one that I got. Sorry, I'm literally speaking at the uh, speed of light. But yeah, I feel like I do that to myself a lot. I'm like, you're not cool enough. You're too old now. I'm like, no, no one's too old for anything. Like, what am I even on about? I don't even believe that myself. And yet I say it to myself. So I'm trying to live by my own, what I preach and think and just wear what makes me smile and what makes me happy. So I'm just out on a dog walk. Quickly drop pop in uh, Mila out as Karis has kind of given Amber some food and milk before we go and get my parents. You enjoying yourselves? 
yeah, only a quick one because it's quite hot at the moment and I'll probably take it again then this evening. But honestly, guys, I am not getting bored of the views. Like every single dog walk, every road we drive on, the views out here are just crazy. Just absolutely spectacular. I just love like the whole walk. You're just kind of surrounded by these views. So I think this here is can. I always like to say cans. I think you pronounce it can. And then behind that, that little uh, bit of land behind it is Antibes. Again, I would probably call it Antibes. And we are going further around that corner to Nice Airport to uh, to get my parents. So that's the drive we're going on a bit later, but just going to get the dog home. Come on, Mills, hark through the walk. I always kind of like walk up the hill to that view, even though there's views along the way. That's got to be one of my favourite. But like I said, we do another walk up kind of the other side of the mountain and you can see not only kind of this coastline not only can and stuff but also see it sounds weird saying a can i've called it cans my whole life i'm gonna have to actually look at how to pronounce it because i'm not convinced it's can cans can 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 just sounds strange now um but you can also see kind of the other side and yeah the views around here are just spectacular absolutely loving the dog walks like i enjoy take, taking me a little bit home as long as like it's not chucking it down with rain. I love a dog walk back in Cardiff. There's some beautiful kind of places to go, but honestly, the scenery and views here are just like spectacular, amazing, like the best I've ever kind of been on doing regular dog walks. Okay guys, so we're on our way to pick James's parents up from the airport. Uh, did I tell you the funny story <laughs> that they were told me. at the airport, <laughs> checked in and through security more than two hours before their flight? Literally, James and his mum are so, so similar. Like, they're really I'm similar sorry, personalities. I'm nowhere near as bad as my But dad. you're similar, but no, your mum is, is much worse. She's much more, like, organised. She wants they to, like, at be... at the airport, which is only an hour from their house, <laughs> three and a half hours... Oh, yeah! It was from God. take off. It's not even... Like, I can understand if you're travelling, you know, four or five hours to yeah, the and it you could don't want to like... the crash on the motorway. And... Yeah. But it was only an hour down the road. I love it. It was cracking us up so much. James messaged her like jokingly because James, you know, is the king. sarcastically. The king of dad jokes. Like, have you left yet? And he was like, it's way too early for them to have left, so I'm just joking. And she messaged back like, yeah, we're there. No, no, we she like... messaged back going, yes, is there a problem? <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, I don't want to scare you. There's not a problem. I was just joking. So this is where James gets his very organised personality traits from, and I just love it. And your dad's the opposite. Your dad's like super chill. Yeah. Like, I love it. I love like in a relationship two like completely different people. It just cracks me up so much because it just reminds me of me and James. Anyway, so on a way to pick them up, which yes, is really we need exciting. To, um, up. Oh, we got another toll. <laughs> Guys, these scare me, but I am getting used to them. I think we spent like. Three million euros pounds. On this is absolutely ridiculous. Three million. Because obviously the car's the opposite way around for us than it would be in France. Obviously it's usually the driver, but so it happens to be me instead. Sometimes it doesn't reach when and I, I don't have to like lean out the car. Yeah. When I picked up the fence on my own, I had yeah. to get out the car and walk around. Oh no! That sucks without me. Yeah, it was a bit of a pain. I just put my hazards on and told them not to join my that mate because I was going to be about an hour. That is a, a really annoying actually. So yeah, we're very excited. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. We are out. Look at this view, we've just stopped. We're out on a walk with James's parents, they arrived yesterday. I think we were, absolute yeah. bum load of traffic. And you home. went the wrong way. And I went the wrong way, which cost me an extra three euros in tolls <laughs> and an extra 20 minutes on the drive. But so, we you know, got pat home. Back, pat on the back, <laughs> Amber, pat on the back. Hi, Amber. Oh, you got a bit of Weetabix on your face. That's fine. <laughs> yes, so we're out on a dog walk. We're getting our hike in. We've just come up. The hard walk, well, the hardest walk that we've done is like the one you come right yeah. to the top of the hill, but then you get these amazing I want to views. Go higher. Definitely. We said oh. this in the last vlog. It's all very same James wants to go up here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just loving the views. I said this yesterday. We are. I think I'm going to take a picture of that and try and like paint it or something as a little memory. Ooh, yeah, you go, girl. Memory of France. But yeah, we try and go early because the sun is coming up and it just gets too hot otherwise. So we're out nice and early. Mina's also here somewhere. Ooh. It's beautiful. Well done. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Again, wow. It's pretty sunny, so again, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, there you are. I'm near you. Hello, people. So I've just been doing a bit of content filming. You've been napping, haven't you? 
Her favourite thing to do today is da, 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 da. Can you do that? No, she's just woken up, she's feeling a bit groggy. I'm not sure if she's teething, but she's doing... Wow, yay! She's doing like her pokey out tongue, which she does... <laughs> well done. Which she does a lot when she's teething, like, because she grates it along her teeth. Oh. James and his parents have gone down to the village, like the little shopping village thing to get up again, some stuff for lunch. I've just been filming some content and you've been napping next door, haven't you? Mm. Haven't you, dead, 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 dead? <laughs> and this is the little outfit I just did for a TikTok. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, it was the stuff I bought in H&M the other day. I'm loving this shirt. Anyway, I'm gonna take this one. Oh, baby. Downstairs for some snacks. And some lunch. Gorgeous view. <laughs> enjoying your sandwich? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, you're enjoying it too. No, we are just almost about to head out to the supermarket. Me and Amber are just feeling some flowers. Soft, soft. Oh no, your bubble's coming out. Oh no. My gel toenails, guys, are still going strong on my gel nails. I'm so impressed. That's a nice little kit you give me. Oh yeah, those are the shutter things that I was on about yesterday. Like the whole house literally like shutters up. Shut us up. So yeah, we are heading out. Oh, hello. Hi, I just thought I'd get oh. involved on half of my channel. Hi. Um, yeah, off to the supermarket. Hello. Hi, this is James. This is uh, Hi, welcome to your channel. Hi. We've got two things to pick up, Yay. haven't we? Two okay. parcels to pick up on the way. Mm. So that's exciting. One of them's actually in a baby clothes shop, which I know Carol's excited <gasps> about. Yes, I'm very excited. We're going to get some clothes. We're hiding behind this tree as well. It's actually like the, the, the only source of shade is this. <laughs> Massive tree. Why didn't they choose a fashion tree? That would have made life so much easier. I know. This is so cool as well. It's like a cactus, but it's in the shape of flowers. Like, it blows my mind. Is it actually a cactus? Yeah, like, feel it. It's like a succulent. Oh, cactus, sorry. A succulent. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't what even know what that means. What does succulent mean? <laughs> it's beautiful. So we just got back from the supermarket, did a bit of a weekly food shop uh, with my parents. Um, I'm now popping out for a run. Karis is doing a bit of food for Amber, a bit of an afternoon snack, um, and then we're all gonna go swimming, which should be fun. But I thought before that, I'm gonna pop out on a quick run. I've only been on one run since I've been out here, but I did absolutely love it. But with all the kind of dog walks, the dog walks are quite intense, um, going up the mountain and getting your sweat on. And I just thought my legs aren't really gonna take going on like an hour, an hour and a half dog walk walking up quite big inclines as well as then a half an hour run. My legs have always been quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got up and stuff. I'm definitely heavier, kind of upper half of my body than lower half. And so if I go running and stuff, my knees are like, what are you doing, James? Why are you running? You're meant to lie on a bench and lift things. But yeah, thought I'd take you with me. And I thought we'd have a little nose, at all the lovely kind of villas and uh, that, that and near here and all the lovely views. The views just outstanding. I go on about it because honestly, I feel like, um, you know, when you're young and you're in the car with your parents, and I was like, ooh. Look over there, look at that amazing view. Or they drag you on dog walks or normal walks, you know, if you don't have a dog at mountains and stuff. And at the top, they're like, oh, look at that view though. And you're like, like, what am I looking at here? It's just grass, it's just land. And sometimes there's a bit of sea. Like we all know these things exist. But now I'm like a proper, I'm one of those parents. I absolutely love it. And like when, when our friends were over and now with my parents, I'm like, good view though, isn't it? Hey, look at the view, look at the view dragging them up to like points right at the top of the mountain <laughs> to look down absolutely exhausting I think everyone coming out thinking they're coming on like a nice leisurely lazy few days of holiday nope up we go hiking up the mountain to see the view I am now that person and I am unashamed so yeah let's start running so just went two kilometers and to be honest, basically the whole thing was downhill. So now I'm having a little rest. I'm gonna run it back uphill. Um, probably not gonna run it all in one though. I'm going to uh, uh, probably do a bit of interval training, minute on, minute off, that kind of thing, because yeah, it's gonna be tough. I just tried to get a bit of footage of the view when I was running down, but um, Josh, I'm hanging my phone over here. It's probably not the best idea. It's like quite stiff down there. But you know, some of you guys struggle with our vlogging styles normally. And so me running while trying to vlog with no image stabilization, 
probably is going to go down too well and all of you will be calling in Sisa. But the views are crazy, so doing my walking to on the way back, I might try to get some. But first, view number one, technically, last view for me, turning point. They're building this villa here, don't know how much I'm allowed to show, but nice pool, nice views. Honestly, past some crazy villas on the way. With some uh, crazy views. You know, do any of you guys actually live kind of south of France, you know? Anyone within, you know, an hour, hour and a half of Nice, or maybe like further, eight. I was going to do the Nevery Shredder Wheat, further west maybe, near Saint Tropez, or those kind of areas. Yeah, I'd love to know. I'm surprised how many kind of French speaking or French living, whether they're French or kind of now living in France followers we have. Um, and I'm always amazed at kind of how the majority of the European countries, you know, such a high proportion of people speak English, like a really high standard as a second language. And then, you know, I can't speak anything. I'm terrible. I did do Welsh GCSE, um, but I didn't do particularly well in it. Um, kind of straight through. Always struggled with languages. Never particularly enjoyed learning them. And it's funny now as an adult, I think that's the first time that I'm like, I wish I tried harder at school. I wish, you know, I had maybe done uh, a foreign language, French or Spanish or German, kind of they were the options other than Welsh, as well as Welsh maybe. It's the first time I'm like, I'd be telling my kids, I'd be telling Amber in the future, you know, well, I regret it in school, not working hard enough for a foreign language, because when you go traveling to that country, it feels awesome to be able to speak a bit of it. So that's gonna be my first words of wisdom to my kids that if they're thinking they're going to do a bit of traveling to definitely kind of go for it with the modern language because I'm always in awe of kind of anyone who speaks another language like both Karis's both of well my sister-in-law's I guess as well but Karis's sister-in-law's uh, both of them speak well both of them one of them's a French teacher and one of them did French at uni but isn't technically a French teacher but both kind of amazing at French and it's just amazing when they kind of like come out in this language that you do not understand at all. It's like when people learn Star Trek language or whatever. Maybe not quite the same. Potentially slightly less useful when it comes to going on holidays, but all the same. Right, I think I've walked for long enough. I'm going to do my first minute of running. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bye bye. Right, I'm going to have to stop running because no way I'm going to be able to run and hold this phone steady. Okay, if you don't, I'm off again. That's a quick minute after I stopped. Ah, amazing. I think I saw a villa down here on the way. Oh, no, just a cliff. Don't like to get of heights. Ah, well, that was holding in this hand to the sun. Absolutely horrible. Feel good, but really, it was horrible. Um, and I think I still got some sun cream left on my face from earlier, which is good in some ways, because it's hot. I never think I put sun cream on to go running. It was bad because I've got sun cream in my eye. And that's a bit sore. Anyway, I'm going to walk the last bit now. Get some liquid on board. We are just about to head out to the pool. Look at this matchy matchy we got going on. Wow! Wow! And <laughs> that's James's pump. Waving! Waving! <laughs> Hello! We're, We're off to the, the pool. pool. I definitely feel a bit. I don't know yet whether I'm still red for my run or if I am actually a bit sunburned. I think we're all a bit sunburned, but yeah, you do look. Especially my face. My arms are actually not so red anymore. Yeah, they're going yeah. down. I think it was the run. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the run. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went, hat's coming off already. We said, I think in one of the last vlogs that, let me just get the hat, that the pool was way too cold. And I was like, we're not gonna go in the pool, it's too cold. But then when my friends were down for my birthday weekend, we ended up going in, we ended up going in the pool quite a bit with them. Yeah, you in the background. <laughs> and um, we're struggling to open the gate. And basically we got used to the temperature of the pool water and it's actually really lovely. That was a really long and elongated way to basically drag out the fact that we now love swimming in the pool. So we're off to the pool. So this is the pool area. We share it with a couple of other villas, um, but nobody's been here every single time we've come down. It's been absolutely empty. So we feel very grateful about that. And it's got a gorgeous view as well. Hello there. <laughs> she absolutely loves having a little paddle. Poosie, poosie. That is the cutest <laughs> swimsuit and hat combo. Uh, 
Uh, Carlos doesn't look bad to himself. Hey, hey. Oh, fun girl, no bikini for my channel. My two cute girls. Barely fits, but I just love it anyway. <laughs> Popping out. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Uh, right, I'm gonna jump in now and try and fix the. Come on, Daddy! Let's do it! <laughs> well done! I'm not enjoying your life. Me and Jay. Me and James are both stuck at swimming. Sorry, Amber's just down the other end with James's man in case you're wondering where we've left her. Um, oh, I'm doing exactly what you said you were gonna do, James. That's so rude. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull myself down the side because it's so deep down the side. <laughs> And you're like, can you not actually swim though? Help me! <laughs> I'm actually losing strength in one arm. Oh, gosh. Whoa, okay, hello. I'd like um, to say, I made a um, background comment when we were vlogging yeah. earlier, yeah. when you were talking, and yeah. I said, yeah. you're yeah. popping out everywhere. Now, that might sound rude, but I meant your boobs. So I just wanted when to clarify. Did you clarify. Say that? That's the thing, you didn't hear it. There was all good things that we couldn't cut out because we'd have to cut out the whole part of you talking. And I said, you're popping out everywhere. <laughs> what else would that mean? Oh, in other places? <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm making this worse. So I'm going to stop digging the hole. And just, I'm pleased that you thought I meant, I did mean no, boobs. Yeah, I would totally know what you mean. Good. Especially, like I said, because I bought a bikini that wasn't really my size, but you were I just out loved everywhere. it. And I'm popping out everywhere. Like, literally, I'm swimming and it's just popped. <laughs> It's popped Pop out. It's girl. not popped out right now, but it's popped out because I do. I mean, I always speak about my peekaboo bikinis. <sighs> What's a peekaboo bikini? They're bikinis that actually fit me. Oh, like the, why are they peekaboo? Oh, we're oh, struggling oh, here in the deep end. It's, it's peekaboo a brand. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I just tread some water. <laughs> we suck at swimming so much. Um, and now I've really gone and good, bought a cute one from H&M that doesn't fit me, but it's just so cute and purple. So I'm just, it's only us here, so that's fine. Just doing pull-ups. <sighs> and you guys. Oh, oh yeah, just do some pull-ups. Weightless. Oh. Um, so yes, we've had a lovely day today. It's been oh. really, really nice. Um, we're really enjoying the pool. The days are going so quickly at the moment. It's like literally, crazy. it's over now. It's been actually... It's over. You, you did some content. Yeah, I did. Had a very chill day. Well, yeah, you've been doing all the other stuff. Dadding. I've been dadding. Shopping. All of my parents have been heavily helping me dad. Yeah, it's been actually so lovely having them here. Like, it's just allowed us to just do more, really, and be more productive and just kind of... Yeah, it's been really, really lovely. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Still doing my pull-ups. Oh, actually, it's hurting my, it's hurting my core. Honestly, like all we do need to. The we should do more swimming. No, because I can't. <laughs> no. No. We actually can't. No, we I can't we do both swimming. suck at swimming. That's not very I good. I used is to it? be great as a kid. Did you? My, yes. I think my mum. <laughs> yes. You know, I think my mum bigs me up. She said that I progressed so quickly. Wow. And then I was with kids much older than me. Wow. And I kind of hated it. Oh. And so I stopped. Yeah. And I said I'd go back and I never did. Yeah. I don't remember doing anything. So I feel like I stopped when I was like 10 or something. And it all just went downhill And then it all went downhill. I was still, still okay in senior school. Um, I competed in a couple of the similar things. Never placed. But I was there. Well done. Sorry, I'm just bigging myself up. <laughs> Just going off. Myself I'm up. just starting to. And now I literally can't swim. I know. You're bigging yourself up while like, gripping, gripping side. onto the side. Oh, hi. Welcome. <laughs> it is two days later now. So yesterday we went to Cannes. We've already been oh, to, is Cannes. It to Cannes. Cannes. We can go to Cannes. We can. But we can't go to Cannes. Remember to say Cannes. We don't Can. think Cannes exists. No. So it is literally spelled C A N N E S, isn't it? Yeah. We've always said Cannes our whole life, and our friend came. From a birthday weekend and was like, Hans, it's can. And then one of you guys, it? no, one of uh, literally so many people I've seen said have actually said it is can, so it's definitely can. But we keep saying cans, and it just sounds weird to say can now. But anyway, we've already been to can. We took James's parents and like we did another yes, little. We did another little exploring of the area, and it was so nice. Mm -hmm. The first time we went, I felt like it was cut a little bit short because it got like super windy, um, yeah. and with Amber in the pram, it was like blowing us away. So we were like, okay, we'll head home. We explored like a bit more down the kind of beachfront area, um, and it was so nice. Oh, they got a Cannes Film Festival on. They have. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was quite busy, but it was nice actually. We managed to it get was a really nice. space. Yeah.
yeah, it was lovely walking around with seeing everything set up. It was. Battery's running out. I will be back one second. I'm back. I think that was the first time ever that we brought a spare battery. That is amazing, actually. I that know. Is, that is so organised. I had it in my little tote bag. such a sad morning. Yes. So, guys, it was such, so, such a sad time. So, we planned on this day when James's parents were down to have, like, another little kind of, like, birthday celebration day out, basically, with me and James. Why not have it over three days? Why not? Um, whilst, obviously, Amber uh, was with James's parents. So I was like, right, I'm gonna really plan something I really wanna do. I saw that they had a trampoline park here. I was like, right, let's put the pelvic floor to the test. It probably would have absolutely failed, so I'm glad we're not going. Um, but we, yeah, we really wanted to go. We were really excited. We didn't look into like the details of when it was actually open to adults. I know, I'm so confused. Well, it's not open to anyone, that's the point. Oh, it wasn't. I think, I think their main audience is children. And right. So they don't open it until 4 p.m. Oh, I see, because it's after, after school. school. Yeah. I get you now. I thought you meant it was like kids in the morning. And okay, fine. It's kids um, during the school day and then adults yeah. jump in the evenings. <laughs> okay, I didn't think about that. That's, yeah. So anyway, four o'clock would be too late for us because we like want to feed Amber and put her down and everything. Oh, no, I think there's a hair on the camera but, lens. Without trying to sound, you know, it's too late adult, for us. I'm not sure if I'd want to be jumping with seven-year-olds. Oh, okay. I was kind of quite, quite looking forward to going during the day. To yeah. Have it quite empty, you know. Uh, well, I think I'd feel embarrassed that I was getting we would out definitely jumped be, by a kid. <laughs> we would definitely be so embarrassed. Mm. Um, so yeah, we've still got. We've got. I've got. You know, my trampoline and outfit on. I got the trainers. I got the moddy body. I got the sportswear. We were all ready to go. I got the tote bag with my spare shorts in, guys. But it wasn't meant to be. So. We're just getting out, Amber's down for a nap, so we're like, right, let's just get out, and we're, I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. So we're heading towards a hotel that we've seen, which is like a spa and hotel. We're not sure whether they're gonna even be like offers to, we just wanna basically use the spa, but we're just not sure. We could go in and they'll be like, no, it's only for hotel guests, so we're just gonna wing it, we're just gonna go in, we're gonna ask. They probably won't understand our French, because it's appalling, and it'll be fine. We'll find something to do. I said to James, even if we just, I get don't know. Coffee. Get a coffee and go back. Sit on the beach. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time, guys, okay? We're in the hotel, guys. We, it's such a nice hotel. You can't just use the spa, um, which we were expecting anyway, because usually not. like, yeah, not. Um, usually you have to have a treatment uh, to use the spa, so that's fair enough. Spa. Yeah, should we go and see it? Number two. Um, but there's like a really nice uh, restaurant and stuff, so we're gonna go for like a coffee and just chill and have a yeah, nice time. Lush. Every day. What? Managed to. This is actually a great spot because you're in the sun. I know, and you're so I'm in the shade. shade. Woo! Not sure where that's coming from. Oh, that, you're better. That's not actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yes, this place is gorgeous, it's and they were beautiful. so lovely. It's always so nice when you come in, and they're probably a bit like, "Why have you just come to a random hotel for a cup of coffee?" I know. I know. <laughs> and but they were just like, "Of course, come in, like have a coffee." Um. So yeah, I feel really happy that we found this little place. Very sweet. It's Look very peaceful. Right on the beachfront. It's very busy. Like, yeah, no, to be fair, there's literally no one here, but yeah. it's so nice. Oh, it's just the sound of the waves. It's like ASMR. What are we doing getting coffee? We should get a champagne or know. a Prosecco. I was thinking, I was thinking that. maybe after the coffee. Oh, it is 10 past 11. <laughs> <laughs> is that Ew, okay? It's 5 pm somewhere in the world. <laughs> It's uh, actually 10 past 10 now in the UK, so we can't oh, even gosh, use that place. Oh gosh, that's even earlier. <laughs> Crikey. He's getting in the shade. 120 to get... million euros. <laughs> like, that is just crazy. Stop it, oh my god. Me and James are obsessed with Right Move. As you know, we're like obsessed with god. houses. Yeah. Um, and we've been sat here on Right Move looking at houses in France, and this went on for 120 million euros. That is just mental. Um, like it's beautiful. I I've can't... never heard of such a thing. I don't even think you guys are going to be able to see it down here because it looks like a hotel. Like, it's essentially a hotel, isn't it? Like, let's be honest. It's a hotel. It's just, imagine a massive hotel and that's what it is. That's just bonkers. It's mental. But it's not as up on the mountain. Oh, we thought we found one that we what saw the other day that was so nice. God. We saw I one. Like, I think I saw one. I was like, that's probably worth a couple of million. <laughs> we were like, million. oh yeah, that's probably worth like a mil or something. Like, 32 million. Okay. That's crazy. That actually seems quite affordable now, just comparing it to my 100 mil. So I'm probably just going to pop that yeah, one in the basket. Them, then. Yeah, in my basket, hen. Insane. Like on the ceiling, they have literally like 
twinkle sky light. I can't explain it. Wow, we we stayed for some food because it was just so nice here. We're just having such a lovely chill chat. I, I, I'm missing the top piece of bread. Yeah. My sandwich. <laughs> Do they know what a sandwich is in France? <laughs> you meant to have a top piece What's of bread on top. top? Boiled eggs and I think that's cheese cuttings. Ooh. No. No, no. It looks so fancy. I don't know how they managed to make it, it like, like a ham. Even a bit of pasta, like yeah. just no, fancy, no. darling. We are so fancy. Now we're just having a little walk down to the waterfront. Oh my god, look how clear it is. That's crazy. I could just jump straight in there. Oh, so relaxing here in the way it's hitting the rocks. I know. This has been like the most relaxing experience ever, guys. I don't know why I'm just giving you like a pan of the waves. I'm just can't stop looking in, into that. I oh, know, it's so clear. It's look how crazy. clear. I feel like I'm falling in because it's so clear. <laughs> so we're just going to have a little look around, look at the views, try not to get anyone in their keenies on the vlog. <laughs> this is random, but this is so, seems to be so, so common. They love using sleepers, don't they? Yeah, like wood as stairs. And I feel like we never, ever see that in the UK. And it's so gorgeous and it's aesthetic. I can't say that word. But I'm sure it would just like rot and fade away. But they... It has rotted a bit around our villa. Yeah, some ones I've seen have got like massive holes in. They look so gorgeous, but it's clearly so popular. Oh, we don't know where we're on our way to. She said we can walk up here. I think she just wants to see us out of breath the way to. Ooh, it's a little viewing point. God, everywhere is just gorgeous. Like my, whoa, sitting here having a look around. He's off. Honestly, guys, the fitness. Whew, we've been walking up steps constantly on this French holiday. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That is spectacular. I love also the bark. Is that a eucalyptus? I'm not 100% sure. I think that is. It looks like one. But it must be because I think they have these barks. They are so special. They're so unique. I know I'm getting excited about tree bark. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. I'm getting into my gardening. I love it. Oh, wow. I could just spend all day looking at these views. Hello you! <laughs> Too busy. Too busy for us guys. We missed you! Woo! Well, so, you know, yes. to say, I know. Because then they want to play with you. That's literally, yeah, she's playing like so nicely and independently and we're like, Thank you! <laughs> that's not gonna go down. What? No, that's right, you need to use one of these. You wanna put it on? Showing off the outfit because I think I'm pretty bougie in this one. Gone for an oversized shirt dress, my tote bag. <laughs> Why are you just in? Because I can't, I can't deal with the word bougie. So as soon as you say, it, I just shut down. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, guys, behind the camera. A horrified <laughs> looking husband. Oversized shirt, sunnies, and tote. But where's the shirts from? I'm off shirts to the from beach. Beach. Let's go get away. Where's the shirt um, from? H and M. I bought it the other day, Lovely. and then also my H and M bikini. Right. Perfect. So we, we're ditching outfit. Amber again. Oh, I love Aww. it too, sorry. You look great. You're welcome. Be your own cheerleader, ditching guys. Ditching Amber again. Yeah. Um, and we Don't are going to go I'm down. Not ditching her. Aren't you? That'll make me sad. Okay, we are leaving Amber for a fun fold couple of hours with my parents. She was and so we are going to go down to the beach yes. and um, grab a sun lounger and have a coffee and have a sunbathe and go in the sea for the first time. I can't have been here for almost three weeks and we haven't yet been in the sea. I know. I we can't the see. Pool quite a bit now. The issue with polarised sunglasses yeah. is you can't see the screen. Put them on. Oh no, I can't see that at You all. can't see anything because the, the polar... I can't see the heads-up display in my car either oh, when really? I wear my... Because it's the same kind of idea, like you can't see certain screens. Oh, that's funny. But I can see my phone screen fine. I wonder oh, why it's so different. We're going to the beach. Let's go get away. Hey, hey, party every day. That's not the word. I know, but it's a party for me. I liked it. See, the sand is boiling hot. It's I'm off having... my towel. Sorry, I'm having to keep my feet on your towel. I don't know why I'm not using mine. That's so cheeky. Okay, so we've set up camp. We've come right to the end because it's a little bit... Well, not busy at all, actually. There's just... Oh, my God, my feet are literally burning. I'm going to put the shoes back on. But, yeah, we've come to the end and we're right by here. Honestly, this is like paradise. I've literally never been, like... We've never really done this type of holiday vibe chill thing where you come like beach front and like set up a towel we're very much like hotel or like i don't know we're not good on the beach are we james we don't do beach in the uk no. we don't do beach abroad we do try i, I don't like the beach okay 
I'm burning it out. Shut up. Occasionally we do swim. We have actually swam in the UK as well and we do love it when we get in there. So we're going to brave it now and go in the water. Woohoo! Are you enjoying our relaxing date day? Feeling very relaxed actually. <laughs> no, Much more relaxing than jumping on the trampoline. I know, honestly. Everything happens for a reason, guys. This is so much better than trampolining. <laughs> Karis is currently just sitting on a rock. It's so cold. You enjoying yourself? So I've decided I'm going to stay back here. Um, it's all rocky there, and um, yeah, I, I'm not not loving the idea of that. Off she goes. It's freezing. Nice and warm. Oh, I don't like it. It's <laughs> <laughs> Your boobs just come out. I genuinely just felt my boob floating in the water. Oh my god, there's fish. I can't cope. This is too nature for me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Give me back to the pool. Guys, we're actually loving life. We've got. A little set up here. Water. James did scream like a girl, but uh, we eventually got there. That is, that is casual sexism. Oh, that actually is complete I sexism. Like a James. You screamed like a James. Like a you screamed like a cat or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just kind of exfoliating with our sand. I'm being really childish and being like, oh my god, look how satisfying this is. When like, come back to a seven does, <laughs> does anyone feel like this is so satisfying? Like when you go from like, oh no, and then it just washes off ah, in the water. Like that is just so satisfying. I just tell her if you have fun in the water, you touch her first. James is so unimpressed. He's literally like, Harry, she can do that at home with a tap. Oh wow, that is, oh, it actually took the camera so long to adjust because the water was so and clear. And the sun's behind us. And sparkly, oh yeah, that'll be why. God, you always just ruin my magical vibes. Because <laughs> the water was so clear and sparkly. Because the sun was behind us. Yeah, that's true. We're having a great time. It's a very lovely down here, obviously. Yeah, it is. It. I know, it's gorgeous. But I'm just pleased that we're actually having a little, having fun, dipping our feet in here and splashing about in the rocks. It is so relaxing. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. I was saying about my toes the other day, guys. Oh my God, I forgot to say. Oh, on my... I like said on my, I can't remember where I said it, on my Instagram story or post or something and so many people were like saying that they felt the same about these certain parts of their body but I was like my toes right are this just part of my body that I'm like I have the most self-love for my toes. I don't even know what a cute toe is, I don't even know what society thinks the perfect toes are but I do not give a poo. I will not be told that my toes aren't the cutest in the world, like I love them and I've got so much self-love for my toes. I just need that, like imagine if you could just copy and paste that amount of self-love to the rest of your body, like not even caring what society thinks is perfect. You just can't, I can't hear you. What, what's the perfect toe? Mine, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Have you got any parts of your body that you're like that with? No, I'm oh. perfect. <laughs> The whole of me. The whole of my body. We love to hear that. I think I've got a nice wrist. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Mine's my wrist, you know. Yeah, I've got a poor it's wrist. It's like a little bit defined, but not, you know, that defined. Let me see that. Wow. Yeah. That's it, really. And I quite like, I quite like my kneecaps. You're, you're joking now, aren't you? Yeah. I'm oh, you're taking the mic. And I'm actually believing you. I was just about to zoom in on the kneecap. So I'm going to go now before he continues to tell jokes that I fall into traps of. Good morning. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Amber. Good bye morning bye. and bye bye. Oh, a little hand popping out to give me a wave. Tara, Amber. Hello. Good morning. Everyone is off. Oh, God, I haven't even looked at myself in the. <laughs> Hello, about to wash my greasy hair. Everyone's off on a dog walk this morning, so they've just all gone out. Also, I love, I love guys, this t-shirt, it's from H&M. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I just love like an oversized tee. Sorry, I'm still half asleep, I'm still waking up. Um, an oversized tee for like evenings, mornings, pajama vibes, but also I feel like a little bit more put together in cycling shorts and this type of tee. If you're like opening the door to the postman, you feel a bit more put together than in like manky PJs. You know? Anyway, that completely went off on a tangent. Good morning. So everyone's gone on the dog walk because I'm doing this morning, you know in that piece of hair, like, okay, I'm keep getting distracted and stop. I'm doing some Gymshark content. They've got their summer sale coming up, which I always love creating content for because you guys know I love talking about clothes, even when there's not a sale on. So when there is a sale on, I get very excited because I just wanted to shout about all my favourite pieces so everyone can get them in the sale. I still, I feel like I say it every time, but I can't believe I've been working with Gymshark for like six years now. Like it's crazy. Like I've gone from, I've worn them just with 
such a range of sizes, such a range of lifestyle. You know, when I've been like super into fitness, I was wearing extra small. Now I wear medium and then I went up to large, like all through my kind of journey and my different body shapes. And obviously like, I always talk about how size doesn't matter, but I'm just talking about that in relevance to like the different stages of my life and feeling like when I went, when, when I made those changes and when things changed for me from like being, you know, solely fitness, my life's like everything fitness to it being much more of a balance, much more of a part of my lifestyle. But you guys know my lifestyle has changed so much. My content's changed online as well. I very much had a lot of moments where I felt like I wasn't going to be enough anymore to be working with them and it was like oh they they won't want to work with me anymore because I'm not fitnessy or they won't want to work with me anymore because I don't wear extra small you know and they've literally every single time been like what are you on about Harris of course we want to work with you and it's just it's been such an amazing relationship and journey that we've had together over like all the changes so very grateful always to be working with Gymshark and yes we've come back into the house that has dim lighting so sorry about the orange tones um i don't know where i'm going i'm actually going in the shower um and we're gonna get ready for the day to create some content hey i'm dressed and ready for the day i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna clean the lens actually i'll just do it on. i don't know why i thought i'd uh, switch it off and back on that's so much quicker i'm loving guys i figured out a new method for the flicky hair with the dyson air wrap with the <gasps> dyson air wrap <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I can't really explain it because I think it's just the normal way that you use the Dyson Airwrap thing But I was just doing it in a weird way before I was overcomplicating it But I seem to have gotten a bit more of the flicky bob working with the Dyson Airwrap Anyway, look also how cute this laundry basket is I don't know if I showed you it, but this is um, a laundry basket that James bought me for my birthday whilst we were out here <laughs> um, And I love it, but I'm laughing because he, um, he bought it for me when he went supermarket shopping without me and then he left it in the car and he like kept thinking in his head like I'm gonna bring it in when she's you know putting Amber to bed or doing something and hide it in the like cupboard in the utility room because we never go in there. He left it in the car, forgot about it and then I got into the car and I was like oh my god that's such a nice basket, where's that from? And he was like, oh, that was like a few days before my birthday so I knew that he bought it for me, bless his heart. But it's gorge, we're gonna take it back with us. Don't even ask how we're fitting stuff in the car, guys. I do not know. We're just ignoring that until it comes to it. We will be able to. We did actually have a little bit of, like, extra room. Um, and also with something like this, as long as that fits, like, obviously stuff goes inside it, so it won't actually take up, like, that whole volume of space. But anyway, I feel like I'm enjoying laundry, guys, even more because James bought me a cute laundry basket. So... I'm not gonna stall anymore. I'm on to creating the Gymshark sale content, which I'm so excited about. I've laid out all my pieces. Obviously I couldn't show loads because I am here. So I need, I couldn't like pack everything or show everything, but I've organized it into little sections. As you can see, I'm obsessed with a blooming zip up. I thought I had three actually. Oh yeah, there's one under here. I honestly guys, I'm obsessed. And those are like my three faves and they're in the sale, which I'm buzzing about. And um, so yeah, these pieces are all in the sale. This video isn't sponsored by Gymshark like this section or anything. I do seem to go on about Gymshark all the time. But yeah, this video is not sponsored by them. Obviously all the stuff's gifted because I do work with them long term. Yeah, so I'm gonna make the content. I'm using my camera. I thought it would be cool. I know I, I mentioned before that I didn't know if you guys wanted to see more about like content creation. I know it was kind of like more of a taboo. I feel like when I first started on social media like years ago, it was like taboo-y to talk about work. But I feel like now it's not as much. I don't know, it just seems like a more normal thing to talk about. And I love it. Like I love the brands we work with. I love content creating and I just love that whole side of like the business side of social media um, and I know when I spoke about the Dijkman thing some of you were like yeah we'd really like to see that side of things as well so obviously I'm using the camera to make the content so I thought I'd like time lapse a little bit on my phone just so you can see me <laughs> filming my reel in TikTok you will cringe and so will I but I do love it guys I honestly love it so much I have so much fun up here on my own <laughs> Um, so they've got back from their walk already. Apparently it's boiling hot out there. I haven't even been out there yet, but it looks so sunny today. Gosh, I can't wait to go out there later. Okay, let's get going.
cheeky sausage. What have we got here? Are we taking your picture? Does music as well. Are you going to show me how you take a picture? Whoa. That's, oh yeah, we pop that down. And then we press that. Press. Woo! And again, press. That one. Woo! Is that fun? James's mum brought Amber this little camera. How cute is that? Is that your vlogging camera? James and his parents are still out exploring somewhere. Um, thank you, Ta. To Amber? No? Ta. <laughs> yes, they've gone out um, on a little stroll, just getting out and about. We've booked a gorgeous place for lunch that we went to with my friends for my birthday. This like beachfront restaurant, it was so gorgeous. We were like, we have to take James's parents back there because we know that they'd love it. Um, so I've just gotten dressed, hence why I'm wearing a cutesy little dress. Just gotten ready for our little posh lunch, um, which is exciting. And we're just waiting for James's parents to get back from their little exploring of the area. What are we gonna do? Play some games. Oh, guys, I can't cope with these little, honestly. Like, her hair, her flicky curls are just... <laughs> melt me. Come back to bed. Ah, That's nice. I head down and goes, Aww. Can you hear daddy? Night-night. Night-night. Oh, night-night. Are you going to bed? Jangle, 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 jangle. <gasps> you gonna do it? Jangle, 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 jangle. <gasps> jangle, jangle. Honestly, keys, um, anything that's not a baby toy or her favourite thing. Jangle, jangle, jangle. Glasses, cases, all of that jazz, her favourite. So we've come for our beach oh, lunch. I was just I saying know. that. We've been here um, before and yeah. we absolutely loved it. We were like, we've got to bring your parents with us. Yeah. It's so nice. It's literally right on the beach front. It's a little bit windy today, but it's still super sunny, Should which is gorge. Cooler, it? Yeah, but obviously it's windy today, so I feel like yes. I won't feel the heat. No, I anyway, so we're on the beachfront, heading to the beach meal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's insane views. I'm in love. Yeah. Oh my! Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, that was a nice one. Yeah, that was a nice one. Bye bye. Bye then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. Sun cream on me. Woo! Go, go, go! Yeah, you stop now. to go for a swim yeah we had our beach lunch which oh, was gorge lunch. and i feel like i could just sit down and do nothing now for the rest of the day camera ran out of battery oh did it i was bragging about how i remembered the battery like yeah. yesterday when we went out and forgot then today. forgot one today but yeah it's oh, such a sunny it's actually getting really hot here like in a lovely way like don't get me wrong me and james we're not great in the heat. Well, you're actually much better than me. I love the heat. Yeah. I you're like to much... complain about the heat. I'm very British. We are very... I like to complain about the heat. We literally uh, come to France and we're like, it's boiling hot. Like, that's literally why we came here. But it is getting hotter and hotter, like, week on week that we're here. Uh, and it's just beautiful. The sun is out in full swing today and it has been gorge. So, yeah, we're going to love you and leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. my eyes vlog. again because I can't yeah. see anything. We're reverse back into the shade. <laughs> Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye then. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. bye. bye.